Yeah, I, I watch a, I watch a lot of television, and I watch Oprah's final season. Anybody of Oprah fans? Yeah. Well, okay, well, you, you just go, just go with me then. Uh, so, Oprah's, <laughs> Oprah's final season, and uh, I watched all the episodes. I watched the one where they found her long lost sister and all that stuff. But my favorite was when they had Fergie on there. Now, I don't mean Fergie like from the Black Eyed Peas, like for any of the young whippersnappers out there, but I mean like Fergie, the Duchess of York, right? And what I love about her being on the show is because, first of all, I love a good accent. The, the, the ones that are really bad, those are my favorite. But I love her accent because Oprah was interviewing her, and this was right after the big wedding, you know, uh, uh, for, for, the, for the prince, and, and um, she didn't get invited. So that was awesome because Oprah just kept questioning her and questioning her and questioning her about why she didn't get invited. So what I loved about it is she has a daughter, and her daughter's name is Beatrice. Well, for some reason, in the English accent, it sounds a little different because when I was watching my TV, I was hysterical watching it like this. So, uh, you didn't get invited to the wedding. Oh, Oprah, it was terrible. I didn't get invited to the wedding, but my daughter Beatrice did. <laughs> Bitches wore that hat and everyone thought it was like some kind of contraceptive device then. Oh, bitches got such attention and oh, then Beatrice put it on eBay and made lots of money. My only hope is that one day Beatrice actually has children and they're all boys that way Fergie has to introduce them and now the sons of Beatrice. <laughs> yeah, I, I love accents. I mean, uh, they're, they're, they're fun. One of my favorite accents is... Um, I love the fact that Project Runway. Anybody? I love the fact that Heidi Klum can make any word have an extra syllable. <laughs> for instance, she always likes to say, "And you will have the opportunity to design this for the new and informational." And she just goes on and on. But I, I always hope that there's a character named Nicholas, because for some reason, with her accent, she always says, "Nicholas." Yeah, she's a lot of fun there, too. Um, but I, I love accents. I can't help it. They're funny sometimes to me. And I... Have you ever had those moments where you go to like, a place where you're not supposed to laugh, but you do? Such as a wedding? <laughs> I was at a wedding, and I was literally had tears in my eye. I love the fact that the preacher, the pastor, whatever, religious and challenged. Anyway, he was up there, and he was giving his little speech, and he says... He's Korean. And so he has this really... Interesting accent, and I got hysterical on one <laughs> word. I'll let you guess what that word is. And as we bring these two loved ones together, I have one wish for you, and that is much happiness. <laughs> <laughs> Shows is a new show that's called, it's called Swamp People. What I love about this show is the fact that it's in English, but it's subtitled. <laughs> and here's why they have to subtitle Swamp People. Do you know, do you know the premise? First of all, they, they go out and they, they basically shoot alligators for a living, and, and that's the whole show. But anyway, so. <laughs> where? We're gonna go out and we're gonna dig our traps. No, we're gonna go out and we're gonna check our traps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're gonna go out and see if we can meet Connie again. We're gonna go out and see if we caught an alligator. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're gonna get in the boat. And then we're gonna get it in the boat. <laughs> I'm sorry, could you say that again? I'm going to make that I'm going to whip out Without my stick and touch it? Yeah, make sure it's dead. 